Zika, your single source since 1950 for quality, selection, reliability, and fast delivery. We want to congratulate you for buying a combined combo machine which combines plasma cutting, argon gas shielded welding, and electrode welding. Thank you for choosing Zika. Before we start, take a few minutes to read and understand the operating and safety instructions of the device. Please wear your safety and protective equipment before starting to work. The kit contains the combined machine, a set of cables and plasma arc cutting handle, spare parts for the plasma handle, a number 17 welding handle with argon gas shielding, spare parts for the argon gas handle including gray tungsten electrode which is fit for almost all metal types, a handle and cable for electrode welding, an earth clamp and one and a half meter cable, a pressure gauge for installation at the back of the machine. Let's get to know the machine. On the front panel of the machine there is a power switch with double scale as the external scale is used for welding of rods or electrodes and the internal scale is used for plasma cutting. There is also a switch for setting the delay time of gas cutoff when using argon gas shielded welding and an on off switch. The following connections are found at the bottom of the machine. The positive connector, an electric socket to connect the TIG handle or plasma handle, a gas connection for argon gas handle or air pressure connection for the plasma handle and a negative connector. In order to conduct plasma cutting, attach the supplied plate to the back of the machine such that the screws will be located at the bottom of the plate. Screw in the screws and tighten them well. Take one connector, wrap its thread with Teflon and screw it to the out regulator inlet and tighten with a suitable wrench. On the left side of the regulator which is labeled IN, attach a quick connector. The connector will be used as a hose from the compressor. Now take the pressure gauge, wrap its thread with Teflon and screw it to the front opening on the regulator. Now insert the regulator from the bottom of the plate and tighten the fastener. Next, connect one end of the air tube to the left regulator inlet and secure with a band. Connect the other end to the air inlet on the machine and secure with a band. A normal air pressure is in the range of 5 to 6 bar. Please note, a too high or too low pressure will affect the quality of cutting. Connect the cutting handle to the air inlet on the panel and the electrical plug to the corresponding socket. And the earth connection handle is connected to the negative connector. You are now ready to cut. Connect the air tube to the corresponding argon gas regulator and connect the other end to the gas inlet at the back of the machine. Secure with a band. The TIG handle has two connections. A gas connection that has to be connected to the right connector on the panel and the electrical plug that has to be inserted to the corresponding inlet on the panel. In the first stage, take the electrode and insert the non-painted end to the corresponding device. There are several types of tungsten electrodes. Red for stainless steel welding, green for aluminum cutting, gray that is fit for almost all metal types. On the welding handle, mount a suitable clamp into the clamp housing. In this case, use parts of 1.6 millimeter in diameter. Now place the nozzle and insert the electrode with the painted part at the back of the handle. Remember, 
using an electrode type that is fit for the raw material is very important for good welding quality. Now hold the electrode end as it protrudes by about 8 millimeters beyond the nozzle and screw a guide to the back of the handle. Tighten well. Remember to connect the earth connection handle to the material you intend to weld. Now you are ready to conduct gas argon shielded welding. Please note, each electrode is attached with instructions on the packaging label for the connection of the welding handle to the positive or negative connector. For example, in electrode Z316, the welding handle is connected to the positive connector and the earth connection handle is connected to the negative connector. In the case of Z11, the welding handle is connected to the negative connector and the earth connection handle is connected to the positive connector. Make sure to select the correct connection. Now insert the plug into a standard 220 volt socket and switch on the machine. You are ready to start welding. The operating instructions contain recommended welding data to ensure you get the best welding performance from your machine. Make sure to follow these steps in order to enjoy high quality and professional electrode welding and TIG welding. For more information and to see the rest of our products, please visit zika-welding.com.